You know the thing I love? Yeah. You know why humans beat Neanderthals? Humans beat Neanderthals. Because we had social groups of men and women being in distinct pairs. So, you know, like women had this role, men had that role. Yeah. That did, that didn't exist in Neanderthal society. Neanderthal society was basically, without our technology, modern day human society. Which meant that it was a lot harder to keep the breeding numbers up compared to Homo sapiens, so the Homo sapiens won. Well, if Even though Neanderthals were stronger and smarter. Well, Humans just outbred them. Well, it's Which the is problem is, like, if you don't, if you lose more people than you are able to, re, you know, Uh, and, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the scariest thing about Neanderthals is Neanderthal women are stronger than... So an average Neanderthal woman is stronger than an average homo sapien man. So modern human man. How, how, the average male Neanderthal is stronger than the gold medalist Olympian for weight lifting. Mm. So, so how scary is is an apex the end of full male like a gorilla? Mm -hmm. they, Neanderthals are basically hairless gorillas, but as smart as humans, and that's kind of terrifying. It's also why um. You, you notice how all the uh, weightlifters are white? Yeah. It's because of Neanderthal genes. Even if it's 20,000 years old, and weightlifters, sometimes it it's a recessive gene that can come back. It, it, very few people have it, but, like, Schwarzenegger had it. Yeah. It's very rare, but, but it does come back. And it just makes those people unfathomably strong compared to normal people. Also, Neanderthal bones were twice as thick as any human bone. Which is cool. Hey. Moving anxiety. So I'm playing Sims again. I should be a boy. Huh? I'm giving my sister plates. Up. Up. I'll be good. Okay. Lovers. Let's go. 
Okay, can we not? Repair. Come on, let's go. Let's build some money. station to alternative low You and Serena, you're good. Clearly, you're a good person to know. Back. Welcome back. Take a little walk in my room. So, when you get the house, eventually you're gonna put a door in that doorway? Yes, and I'm gonna freaking put a lock on the. It's gonna have a padlock on it, and if you touch it, I, I beat you with the padlock. Cause, um, yeah. Anyone wakes me up who doesn't have food handy, and the house isn't on fire, and no one's dead, or bleeding. God help yeah. them. <laughs> You heard me mad when I have to wake up and I don't want to. Let's see, open the fridge. Let's 
Let's see. Serve lunch. Plan chowder. level do I have in I go practice violin we're gonna walk away from the badly played violin Billy what you wanna hear the badly played violin Stop. Web, fill out reports. Why are they making shit in my... I think they actually optimized the Sims game now. How long did it take for them to do that? Years. Opening act, perfect. Shower, go to bed. Breakfast.
see. Earn fifty dollars in tips. Let's see. Practice. How about do you want to listen to some mediocre piano playing? No. Why? It won't hurt me. Aw. Will it hurt you that bad? Oh, good. I, he did not have work. Oh, wait, he does. Okay. But it's 9 a.m. I was like. Um. Jazz. <laughs> I like jazz. Jazz is fun. I like jazz too. Romance. <laughs> uh, under what conditions? Woohoo! We got we got money. Um. Okay. So let's go to the shower. I'm just trying to get these two to actually like be full romance and everything, and then we'll have them get married. See what happens. <laughs> Let's see. 
Where are we at generation wise? Because we have her, she's all by her lonesome, not married. And then he, when it loads. So, <laughs> father was Guillermo, and mother was Reina. Grandparents were Zyra, Terrence, and Titania. So we're in one, two, three, third generation. This is gonna fucking take a while. <laughs> Why did I decide to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I decided to do this run. Let's see. Then um. I think we should travel. She's hungry. And he's got. Let's go to the festival. The romance festival and everything, but I'm going to order food. Let's order ramen. Ramen is always good. I like ramen. <laughs> Unless someone who likes ramen more than you. Yeah. Wolfie. <laughs> he obsessed. Steps and through your culinary journey. Yep. And fuck it. Well, she's here. Let's have her carve her still the flowers here. Did she get all this stuff? And these little plots glitched out. about the things. Uh, 
Oh, that's the oddest destiny. Well, don't make any plans. Uh, okay. Let's go home. We're, we're not doing this. Back float. <laughs> midnight swim. Near nip midnight. Okay. Go here. And then I think it's time they do the things. I remember they took away the, the covers and everything for The Sims and it just looked like they were gyrating. Have work tonight, he does not. If you're best yeah. friends, that fuck, are you fuck buddies? Oh, 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 had a blast. Great reputation. <laughs> Billy? Yeah? If you're best friends with somebody you fuck, are you fuck buddies? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see what I like games are on. 
Oh, we got the A-League, Dwayne, Melvin, Vic, no, I'm not gonna watch that. Oh, 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 okay. Paige, I watch women, women's soccer for this skill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you're oh. the only person who can say that. Um. Why? <laughs> what, what are my stuff guys doing? I mean, I feel like there are some that watch them for this skill. <laughs> Also, it, is it because it's, um, softcore, you know what, without the what? Well, I'm just watching sports! Life well, gone, damn it, he's found a loophole. We're eloping right here on our porch. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? I love how, it, how fast eloping works in Sims. You don't need a priest, you don't need anything. You just need the rings and go. You're, you're married. <laughs> it used to work, yep. Huh? You'd have to move to a whole different... In England, you had to move to a whole different... section of the country. Was it, like, eloped... like, getting married, like, eloped? There was, like, only one section of the country that did it? You couldn't just, like... Mary or anything like that. It was like, nope, you can't just do that. <laughs> to get married, you'd have to contact the ship and send a letter to the Archbishop of Canterbury requesting a priest. Oh, there was no local priest nearby. And they'd usually ask what reason. Which why there's usually one. During the time, there might be a couple priests that would accept the Lopin. Yeah. And they just basically booked out the whole year with doing eloped marriages. She needs to change her name. So if your name is already hyphenated, can you hyphenate it again? Yes. Really? You can only hyphen a name twice though for it to meet. Oh, this is in Australia, you can only hyphen it twice. So say if your last name was already hyphenated because your parents hyphenated. Right? Yeah. Then... It's mainly used in case of widows oh. who get remarried. What if we were to hyphenate our names? We're not doing that. Kenneth Oi Lobo. <laughs> if I get married, it's death to his part. Which I'm guessing you're very happy about that I never got married. Yeah. I'm not a... Now we'll change the last name. So I've cancelled my membership to Sydney FC out of protest. Yeah. I'm still gonna watch the games though. 
Mm-hmm. They still have me as a fan, but they don't have me as a Jews paying member. Because uh, I don't want to not. I don't want to give up football. Yeah. Grab mm-hmm. serving. Now they're sitting and eating pancakes. Oh. They just got mirrored out on the front porch, and now they're just sitting and eating pa- pancakes. Oh. Oh. Getting all happy about the pancakes. He's sitting thinking about DM. Is she gonna make me cook and do dishes? This is bullshit. <laughs> I love you. And she's like, no, no, I'll do dishes today. You cooked. I'll clean. And what, where, where the fuck is he going? Uh, he's gonna go, go, go. Uh, he's playing FIFA, apparently. Billy? It could be Piz. Don't be fascist. What? It could be Piz. Don't be so fascist. Okay. Does EA own FIFA? Yes, but no. The game. Yes, but no. Do they own the other game? No. Then this would be FIFA. <laughs> They're the developers of FIFA. They're not the owners of them. You know, ba- basically, they develop the game. Yeah, FIFA goes. Okay, who wants to develop FIFA? EA, me. Brush teeth. And now we're gonna go ahead and paint more. Paint till your heart's content. Make money. It is your job to make the muns. Okay. That's pretty. We'll hold up. And she's just like, okay, what can I do? Let's 
Boohoo of Serenity. Oh. Oh, he reached level 10 in piano. That's mm. good. Go fuck your wife, damn it. <laughs> Jeez. I love how you learned your the, the your uh, spouse's woohoo interests. That would be really sucky for you. She was like, yeah, no, we got married and, uh... the fuck to sleep, lady. Hey, Rigby. Oh, we can go back. No. And... Mm. The and bug the is still here. Uh... Yeah, it's just a Rigby here. Hi, Rigby. I'll make you fat. Now he's sitting in the I want food position. <laughs> you good boy. Are you good dog? Up, up, up. Up, baby. Jumpies. Jumpy. You give me the look of I only jumpy if I get food. Fuck is better at getting food than you are. Uh-huh. Baby, is your brain just I want food and nap? You want page of soulmates. What? Uh, you're basically the same. I want food, now I nap. What? I do other things. Yeah, you, you eat while you nap. I can't do that. <laughs> I'll choke. Well, that's what you tell the doctor. Huh? <laughs> Okay. Note to self, no more nine hour streams unless I plan them. <laughs> we killed you, didn't it? Yes. I told you not to do it. I wasn't planning on it. I just didn't want to stop playing. Up he maxed the cooking skill. And tables. And he said, I said I could be a cookie. Hey, did I read the magazine for the articles? Mm. Does it annoy you I can actually say that? No. Yeah. Although... You just cut out all the pictures. That's you. Mm -hmm. Ah, so it's just fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> I cut out the articles for you. <laughs> now you don't have to flip there. 
But now I need them in the. I like them in the magazine. You go. Oh, okay. I, I cut out all the pictures. Of... <laughs> well, that'd be you, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the funny thing the female equivalent of Playboy sounds better than the male equivalent. <laughs> Cause you know how that's Playboy and I forgot the other, and there's the girl magazine? Yeah, it's Playgirl. Yeah, it, it sells better than Playboy. I wonder why. <laughs> it, it's because of women, isn't it? Women like porn too. I don't understand why people, like this whole thing is like, oh, it's mainly men. It's like, yeah. But women have, have this thing called, um, romance novels. And we use the novel part loosely. I mean... I will say I have skimmed through a whole bunch of shit just to get to the sexy bit. I'm like, okay, that's great, you're talking, you're, you're talking, you're talking. Okay, can, can we get to the sex? <laughs> Maybe he's leaking my plate. <laughs> Hopefully it's something he can eat. Yeah, it is. Like, I don't think you'd poison your dog. Um... He's trying to drag the plate away. Huh? I read me. He's trying to drag it away. Why? <laughs> hey, good boy. Want to say hello to Paige? Hey, Paige! Is that your dog? Yeah, it's Rigby. What kind of noise he's making? It's like yelling. Yeah, he doesn't bark. Remember, he don't bark. He yeah, he yells. <laughs> bork bark. Come on, Riggy, bork bark. <laughs> he just looks at me when I say bork bark. Ever? Does he howl? Yeah. The happy boy. Best dog. He's a musician. I hate how the fears take over everything and they're so constant. Oh, tense because she feels like unfulfilled dreams and wants. Oh my god.
You know what? What's the life? Okay, the lifespan is short. Okay, so I had to redo the lifespan. Well, Melbourne Victory is kicking the shit out of Newcastle Jets. Uh, what happened with the uh, uh, soccer thing? Yesterday. Yeah. It was Melbourne City versus Melbourne Victory, and the fans on both sides went crazy. Why? Because they pissed off at the ruling body of the A-League for changing the grand final. Yeah, I like how there's been more violence in the last week over this than the two years of COVID. Y'all really like sport. <laughs> there's a rule, there's a deal with the Australian government. We don't do shit, and you don't fuck with our sport. The more they fuck with the sport, the deal's over. Aren't there, like, oh, we're gonna have to cancel sport because of COVID. <laughs> the great thing about when they said that, half an hour later they made the emergency broadcast for sending it. Half an hour. What do you think they realized? There'd be no country by morning. <laughs> <laughs> Who came up with it? Who wants to bet the guy who came up with the get rid of sport thing was fired? Yeah. Hold on, can I put a gate on this thing? Hmm. There we go. We're doing this to keep people out of my fucking uh There's no reason you need to go through here. Closed porch. Song, jazzy piece. We're gonna go this way. Thank you. 
you said, I wish that I could be like Kimba, yay, Pimba, Dark, Kibu, Travoy, Kimna, Shwabi, Shuna, Blade, Bumu, Quasar, Ah, Snurb, Ux, Zombos, Grab, Del, Chop, Fazahik, Wizard, Pongi, the I swear sometimes the, the pixels are weird. Okay, something's wrong. I love how um, every country on Earth has a military treaty with every other country on Earth. Well, it's an alliance. It's out of the UN. Do you know what it is? Hmm? If the Earth is ever invaded by extraterrestrial life, all armies on the planet have to unite into one. Oh. And it's been signed by every single country and every single commander-in-chief. Oh, because it's like, if it's that bad, we're all fucked. Lose the papers. off today looks like he's getting some well needed sleep
<laughs> okay then, so that fucker's gonna be uh, cleaning that uh, griddle forever. Okay then, that's a weird sound. I don't know what kind of music that fucker's going for. I said a jazzy piece. That doesn't sound like jazz. That sounds like techno. I think my version of jazzy and their version of jazzy are two different things. Yeah. Come listen to this. Okay. I told him to write a jazzy piece. Since when does that sound like jazz? I do the club. Is, is that jazz? I don't think that's jazz. Sounds like someone's trying to make a sci-fi piece. Yeah, it's like tech time mixed with jazz. Okay. Hey, I'm watching women sweat. I'm supporting the game. <laughs> yeah. Snap that smile's back. Toothpaste. I found kind of funny. They make women's leagues in America. People don't watch. They make women's leagues in Australia. For some reason people watch. <laughs> well, the marketing for women's sports here is um much better. <sighs> suggestive. Ah. Uh. But they know what would make Pete Moon want to watch the sport. <laughs> uh, let's just say the camera seems to linger sometimes. Mm. What's... Mm. <laughs> what? What? Nothing. Women in tight uniforms running around getting all sweaty with close-up zooms. Yeah. Well... Why is, uh, how does a woman getting sweaty turn men on? Bloody no, it's just... You can tell they realized how to make women's sports sell. Uh... <laughs> the women still play the game just like the men do. It's just the camera is different. Mm. It zooms in more. Mm. <laughs> okay. 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 What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, I watch it for the game, not the women. Okay. Hey! I love you. <laughs> I know you watch it for the game. What? I also watch children's soccer. That's good because it helps you see the development of the game. Well, didn't you say you wanted a coach, so... Yeah. 
I'll make sure to get a van. Huh? I'll make sure to get a van. No! What? <laughs> what? No! Bad. What, what bed? It'll be able to fit all the kids. I can't fit him in a car, can I? Just... And I don't have, and I don't have a bus license. <laughs> Dear God. What? The team has a van. I'd use the team van. Okay. <laughs> what? You're trying to be very funny. <laughs> what, be vague as possible? Yes. <laughs> I'm not interested in kids. I know. <laughs> Except for having kids. A, a man says he loves children. It sounds wrong. woman says it completely fine. That's know. sexist. I know. It shouldn't be that way. I feel sorry for the male daycare workers. Well, they probably get freaking background checked all to hell. Yeah, and the funny thing is, mm. most of the time when daycare workers, it's the female ones who are abusive. Not just because there's more females, just if you go for... Even when you even it out, it's more women. Write a song. The sad thing is the women can just go, they'll get a slap on the wrist in most countries and then be a back of work. Which is why I prefer Australia's system is, is... It's equal. Crimes or punishment is regardless of gender. And when it was brought to the high court, why? They said justice is blind. Justice doesn't see race or gender. They just see the crime. Are they wrong? <laughs> Also, Australia is one of the only three countries in the world that has a policy you wish was in America. If you falsely accuse someone of, you know, stuff, you face the, if you, if it turns out to be false, and not doubted, you know what I mean, like, actually proven yeah. false, you face the same, you get the same punishment they would have gotten. It also means if you accuse someone of murder and you know for a fact they haven't murdered anyone, yeah, you get this, you get a murder charge. Lovely. It's why a lot of a lot of false accusations they still happen here, but it's a lot um rare. It's like ten percent most of what yours is, and also since. Crimes can't be reported by public media, like trials can't be reported by public media until the trial is over. The guy's life never gets ruined. Because no one other than the people in the courtroom will know. And you and prosecution and so and defendants aren't allowed to discuss cases a case they're in, even if it even with their spouses. So if it leaks out to the community. Yeah. Well, a woman did this, accused the guy of rape, then leaked it out to the community to ruin his life. Yeah. She got child. She got a million dollar fine for perjury of court procedure, which is a thirty year prison sentence and a million dollar fine. She had to sell her house, and her kids ended up homeless because of it. Okay, for them. Oh, but that's how that, that that's why false charges don't happen anymore.
it's why you know I said if it if Vic had Australian citizenship, he could have just requested it to the court case be done in Australia. What would have happened? Yeah. The moment they leak it out on Twitter, it's happening. They're okay. fucked. Yeah. I don't like the pile on. I don't mm. think it's helpful for justice. Yeah, that's why Australia doesn't let it happen. Because it's also. Because... For instance, a lot of YouTubers who covered Australian court cases wondered why they got served with fines from the Australian government that they actually they thought they could get out of because of fair use. Yeah. Doesn't work that way. They had to pay them. Or take the video down. Uh, probably a lot of times they're just like, yeah, no, I'd rather just take this video down. It's not worth it. And they never cover... That, that's why a lot of US YouTubers don't cover Australian shit. Because if they do... If they don't follow an exact procedure for it... No. Because YouTubers under Australian law, when they cover news, yeah. are classified the same as a reporter. So you can't be um, unbiased, or you can't be biased? You can be biased, but you have to go... You can be biased on as a reporter, it's just you have to state you are. You can't do it through a lens of not being so. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, for instance, Sky News Australia is incredibly biased to the right, but in all their... Every news bulletin or anything, they call themselves... Sky News, the right-wing media platform. They say it every single broadcast. There's no, they're not trying to hide the bias. It's there. That, that's the difference. If you have a, if a, if a me, media corporation has a bias, they have to state it. What do you think of that? I think that's good. Australia has other problems with media, like uh, copyright law is incredibly weird. N not bad, just ve very weird. I kind of—it's just nebulously weird. <laughs> like we have fair use. It's just—it's it, it, kind of strange how it's enforced. But yeah, no, I hate pylons. I hate. Because you could, anyone can say anything happened on the internet, and then people will share and do all that stuff, and then, but they'll never oh. actually report it to any sort of court of law. So you just have these people oh. still walking around. In Australia, online testimonials are worth nothing unless the uh, person of said online testimonials will. Uh, will agree to appear in court. So, you know, if you said, oh, this person did to me, you said it on Twitter? Yeah. Ye for it to have any count in court of law, uh, the prosecution could ask you, will you sit in a courtroom and Testify. say it under oath? If you say no, it's worthless. And nine times out of ten, most of the people that say that shit online say... No, no thanks. Because lying under oath... Uh, yeah. Did you know what happens if you lie under oath in Australia? Mm. You're not allowed to serve jury time ever again. If you're a defendant, your word means nothing. So, so if you're testifying in your own defense at a later date after you've lied under oath... Yeah. Your word means crap. It's all up to the, your defense to save your ass. Because everything you say will be counted as a lie. Mm. That That's... A, I know that's harsh, but it's a way to punish people for lying under oath. And Australia doesn't use the lie detector test. How do they tell if you've lied or not? True, Sarah. What? Nada. 
uh, concoctions of a collection of different narcotics that make it so you always say the truth, or it makes it very hard to lie without giving it away. So, like, you, under this concoction, you, if you lie, your body will basically spasm. Yeah. So that that way they can tell if you lie or not. That yeah. seems wrong. You have to consent, though. Yeah, you can say no. But then your word will be taken as suspect. So, it's, I guess they've set it up that way, so that way you don't, uh... It lessens the people easy. lying. <laughs> you, you can fool a lie detector. Yeah. Well, it, lie detectors aren't really great anyway, because you could be telling the truth, but because you're nervous, because you're hooked up to a fucking thing... Yeah, that's why we don't use lie detectors. I don't know about you, but me being hooked up to something is not going to make me, uh, fuzzy. Uh-huh. What? Well, I'm going to see you can see things are going to hook you up to. <sighs> oh, there you are. Aren't drugs great? <laughs> No, but Australia doesn't use lie detectors. We haven't used lie detectors since the 60s, or was it the 70s? Big courtroom settings. <laughs> but they'll use them, they'll still use them as a way of a, a psychological screwing with you. Because yeah. if people think the machine can, because a lot of the public doesn't know. Yeah. So, if they think the machine can tell if they're lying, they're more likely to tell the truth. Yeah, polygraph so test doesn't really work because... No, but that's why the police still use them, because well, they found it in studies that if, if you still mute... Most people are more likely to tell the truth just because they're afraid of being found alive. But the fucking lie detector test, it's, the polygraph test isn't accurate at all, because you... If... It, again, if you're nervous at all, which most people in those situations aren't exactly, you know, not nervous. Yeah, the police know that. Also, if you have any sort of anxiety disorder... A.K. me. <laughs> you wouldn't be allowed to have a gun in Australia, by the way. Why? You have depression. <laughs> and I make unaliving jokes, so. <laughs> they wouldn't want not not because you'd harm someone, but because because people oh it's because they're afraid you'll go no it's they're afraid that you will shoot yourself. Uh. So that's the dip. It's not because they think you'll go on, you know, a shooting spree. It's there. Because that happens a lot in America where people will just buy a gun and then kill themselves a week later. Although, women are less likely to use firearms for that. But you know what? I still say no. Because it's just not a smart idea. But, no, what I said is, women are still less likely. Women are more likely to jump up buildings. Women are less not. likely to take... Women will make more attempts than men. Because men, men... use deadlier means. Men might get a gun or jump off a high-rise. Like... There's no surviving. Oh, that guy tried to kill himself with a gun. He shot himself in the head on three separate occasions, but it kept just slightly missing parts of the brain where he'd die. 
<laughs> what would you feel like if you were that guy? What? You put a gun to your temple three times, three separate occasions, and each time it just slightly misses. It just slightly misses all the important pieces. You're just like motherfucker. I want to die. <laughs> I want you to let me die. <laughs> Oh wow, I feel like the Reaper's going in. You're not dying today. But yeah. It's just... It's really sad. I hate the pile on. I hate the whole court of public opinion bullshit. Yeah, in Australia, Australia you don't have juries on most cases. I don't think you should have a jury. I feel like people of the jury, like if you're going to have a jury, it, it needs to be people who understand, like, law. Here's a fun fact. In Australia, you can't be on a jury if you recognize the defendant or the prosecutors. How does that work if you're in a fucking small town? Usually how it works in a small town is all the small towns are near each other. So they'll just move. They'll just do... People in one town get prosecuted in the town over. And vice versa. Because it's like, how... Because... <laughs> chances mm. are, you, if, if it's, it's somebody in your town, you know them. <laughs> I, like, I'd have to go to... I'd have to go to Narrabri Court. For instance. Is that, didn't you serve to Uri Duty? Yeah. No, but that was more Uri Court, dude. That's my town, I can't give it away, I'd say it on Twitter. Good luck finding it. But, um, the point of it was, the guy, the defendant was from Narrabri. Mm. They just prosecute him in different towns, if it's a small area. <laughs> so wait, they carted him to, like, another town over? Yeah. That's interesting. If you're found innocent, they reimburse your entire travel cost, plus extra. Didn't you say it settled out of court? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know what happened. Let me get out work straight. You're so for instance, immune to be a <laughs> side, you're immune to be a, a selected for jury duty. You know, I've been selected for du jury duty twice, and every time I've told them, I, I one time, it, I had forgotten to change my, like, voter registration, so it was still in, like, Fresno, but I was in uh, Northern California, and I'm like, I'm not traveling three hours. To serve jury duty. Unless you y'all wanna um cough the, up the money to do so, because I, I I can't. And then the second time I had changed my voter registration, so it should have been in um NorCal. And they no, it was still for Fresno, and I'm like, look, no <laughs> I in don't live there. In Australia, you don't have to serve jury duty outside your what you'd call a county, unless it's in a high court. In one, it's in one of the countries, also like the state high court or the national high court. Is that you can't say no? Do they pay you? Yes. Do they pay for your travel and housing costs? Because you're gonna have to live. <laughs> no, you, you, you just stay in the freaking housing commission, Double. government housing. Okay. And if it's a high court jury, you're going to be escorted there every day by police. 
Your ass is going whether you want to or not. <laughs> Basically. You get if it's a high court jury, you get five hundred dollars a day. Oh most people you wanna, go. You want to do that? That's why most people go. Okay, how long's this trial? Two months. <laughs> Are you? Well, okay, we're saving. That literally just. No, <laughs> no but you see what? How long's this trial? Two months. You just put in the money in your head, Pooch. <laughs> You'd probably be like, okay, well. And your job can't fire you, because you're... If, you, if your job fire, fires you, the government will burn their ass. It's one of the things you cannot be fired for. If a organization fires an employee for jury duty, the tax rate for the company goes up to 80% that year. How much profit they make it? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Barely any. Probably and a lot to of the, the lights on. And a lot of the other, and a lot of smaller ones will go broke. It's why no one fires anyone for jury duty. Because it's jury duty. You wouldn't be allowed on an Australian jury. Of course not. I'm not. I wouldn't be an Australian citizen. <laughs> Except for if you were, um, it was for an American person that's expatted, because they'll have one American juror on the entire jury. What's expat? It means someone who's been extradited. Ah. If you get extra dieted, it's bad. Twansies. <laughs> no, I thought, like... I think you're also called an expat if you renounce your American citizenship. And just become That's a the country. citizen in Australia. Or a different country. Hold on, I'm gonna look yeah. this up. <laughs> Australia's version of expat is not that, though. Yeah, that is another version, but it's, that's not Australia's term. Ex are immigrants or uh, who maintain cultural ties. Nope. Oh, Our yeah. country. It's uh, expatriate, I can't, expat, individual living or working in a country other than their country of citizenship, often temporarily and for work reasons. Yeah, that, that's not Australia's version. Uh -huh. I'm eating red. Thanks. What are you eating? I'm not why are you eating my mic? Oh, let's go. Paid streaming sims. What's that? This stuff. What stuff? Uh, sisters. Search is my sister, your stream. Ah. Yeah. I am doing a, a generation challenge also. Apparently he likes gardening. <laughs> gardening I like gardening. It's just our garden's stupidly big. <laughs> our garden's twice as big as yours, Paige. Yeah. Yeah. You can put a pool in and still have more than three quarters of the garden. I think in the future, if you do get the house, like when you get the house and you save up some and finish, you know, paying off most of it, you you should um put in a pool. It's a problem with that. Why? It attracts snakes. Why do you? 
why are you Australia? Why Australia? <laughs> <laughs> Snakes will go to what they'll drink. But chlorine's poisonous. I know, but it will attract them. And then they'll say the dog bucket. We have a dog. We have we have a dog bar, a bucket outside, filled with water for the dog. Mm. And that 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 attracts. But it, the big body of water will attract them, and they'll, they'll figure out that water bad, and they'll be close enough now that they'll sense the dog bucket. Mm. Why? Why is Australia weird? You didn't know kangaroos were jack. No, I did not. That fucking thing it looked like it was. <sighs> Fucker looked like he could, like, take out the rock and Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah, and there Together. was a guy who wants. You know the boxing kangaroo? Yeah. That comes from. Because the Australian boxing champion in the late 1800s boxed a kangaroo one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. Those things are he scary. He also beat the heavyweight. He was a welterweight, and he beat the heavyweight world champion at the time in a bar fight. Apparently, the heavyweight world champion used tried to hit him with furniture, and he, and he just won on arms. Do I know his name? Uh. There's a song about him, Iron Black Jim. He's also the guy who served in World War One and Two and punched. Punched the Prime Minister in the face when he said no benefits to veterans. Uh. You, you didn't fuck with that, man. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't get veterans. Oh, really? Boom. What do you think that Prime Minister thought? Fuck. <laughs> well, that time an Australian Prime Minister got hit by a car and went into the... I have to have a drink instead of going to the hospital. <laughs> you Aussies are something else. Also, what character do you want to be? Because you're going to do my thing, right? What? D&D? &D. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have an idea of what character you want to be? Trying to figure out class at the moment. I figured out race. What race? Damn, my name. Is, I just forgot the name of the race. <laughs> yeah, I, I have the race. I already know. I wrote it down. I'm just trying to figure out class. Which class do I want to play? So we got a monk. Hold on. We have a fighter, a bard, a barbarian, a blood hunter. I need and, more mages. And oh, why is Alucard in there by himself? That poor Canadian. Um, Where is he? He's in Boom. Um, well, let's go talk to him. Do we have to? <laughs> yeah, I want to make Canadian jokes. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> hey, Alucard. Hello. Hey. Hello. Sir, how cold is it there? Uh, it be currently okay, negative two. Cool. So do you have to you have to turn the heating on in the igloo? <laughs> oh, um, also. Jace is join. Uh, Lulu's brother Jace is joining us for D and D. Cool it on the teasing the anyone. 
like you don't have to stop completely, but uh, apparently J- Jace just is very sensitive to that kind of stuff. So I'm Australian. You're gonna have to chill. This is this is racism. <laughs> You kind of have to figure it out. No, I was just fascist. I'm someone. Gonna... Who? You. I'll marry you first. Then doesn't, you... uh, divorce doesn't work like that in Australia. What? You don't get half my shit if we divorce. Oh, uh, do you want to know? Okay, so, Alucard. Back. For you, you said it's currently negative two Celsius. Yeah. It's negative four. Can I? Are complain? you wearing socks? Can I complain Are about the wearing... cold? Can I complain about the cold yet? Sure. Alec, I'd ask if she's wearing socks. I'm not, but can Are you I? Wearing socks? I'm not gonna wear she's the socks. Not... <laughs> Damn, Alec. Put socks on, woman. <laughs> <laughs> but but anyway, can I complain about the cold yet? No. It's negative four degrees Celsius. You haven't put on socks, then you can complain. I think Alakar would agree to that. Yeah. I have the heater on. I have the heater on, and it's... 36 degrees Celsius. I feel cold. It's 27 degrees Celsius, according to my weather app. It's 36 in my room. Why are you cold? Anything under 40 is cold to me. It is, but it is below freezing. We're gonna die. Hmm? We're gonna die when we visit each other. You're just gonna get, yeah. Why does it feel like summer? Many, it's the middle of winter. You're just gonna come here during winter and go. Well, if I come in summer, I'll be my winner. <laughs> also, I am going to finish a temperature blanket. That is my New Year's resolution. I am going to knit one of those damn things. I'm, also... oh, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this, Paige. What? It could be worse. We could live in the Northern Territory. <laughs> oh, fuck off. So let's let me check real quick. We have monk hey, druid. Hey. Don't care. Cool. We yeah, have... I I watched the entire cartoon. We have Hisayo, who is a monk druid. We have Alucard, who is a barbarian. A wild magic is his... barbarian. Is his name Dave? No. 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 Oh. Is it Grot? You suck. The Captain Zane Bloodtooth. Dragonborn Bloodhunter. That is such an edgy name. <laughs> I don't care whose character is that. I did. That is an edgy lord name. Jace is going to be our, our bard. Uh, using Hero Forge for to do a concept of my uh, character for Paige's campaign. One, two, I'm trying to figure out my class. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. A true is going to be a fighter, so. And then we'll have six, and if my brother joins, which I don't know if he will, then we'd have seven. So. Seven.
let's have her let's let's woohoo you need to get your fun up and then go to sleep fuck and then go to bed um yeah fuck if your daughter's closet <laughs> Oh no, there's a perfectly good bed right there, but no, you guys decide to go to the closet. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to show you. Uh, Alucard, do you have you ever seen Ray William Johnson? Yeah. Or any of his music? He, uh... made, he made music, and it's great. It was more like there was some that was like funny, and then others that was not funny. <laughs> This store says booty. <laughs> I'll have to show you after the stream. But I'm glad that the heat is finally fucking coming on. I don't know what's going on with our heater. Oh, yeah. But it's like not doing what it needs to do. When this house gets fucking cold, I swear. Assistant to the manager. So, assistant manager? <laughs> so, at work, they keep putting me in positions where I'm like doing shit, and I'm like, yay. Feels like the heat's actually working. I hope it is, because it'll suck if it's not. <laughs> what did you break, lady? I heard something break. What broke? And then...
And then there's a dice rolling program that I don't have to put in for the Discord thing. It's a... Like, it's a browser thing that I'll just put in because my ass is not going to be able to figure out how to make Dice Maiden work. <laughs> so... Have yet. Huh? Well, I can't answer all these dice on camera. <laughs> Hey, I've already stated that he he's fine to do what he wants. Also, if if you're gonna cheat in D and D, that's just sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. This dice lock is like my shiny lock. It's unbelievable. No, I know. I like how go. I like how go to Vegas. No. Why not? Vegas is fun. I'll tell Spitfire you don't want to visit her. I never said that won't be the reason I'm not going to gamble. Nap, 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 nap. We got it, we got it on camera. You said it, no Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> you got a clip and send it to Spitfire. You do, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Billy, did you know that you're yeah. a man in the ass? Yes. Okay. I'm the youngest, it's my job. Is it? Is it really, yes. you asshole? Hey, it's just the job of the youngest to be a pain in the ass. I don't know, I'm the oldest. I don't... I don't know that, sorry. <laughs> Why did you say you know what you can tell I'm the youngest? Just you, how you act. Is it because you, no one can out annoy me? Yeah. Gotta take care of the garden so that way it grows things to sell. When the Jets just scored two goals in quick succession, now it's only 4 2. They're back in it. I don't like how the Super Mario Bros. movie was on my TV yesterday. Uh, which one? A trailer for the new one or that, uh... The 90s one. Oh, boy. <laughs> that, that movie's so bad, it's good. Just like Shark Tank. Or not Shark Tank. Shark Tail. Shark Tail. Yeah. It would be so cringy, it's so... it's great. It's, I can't watch it. It's, it's but you just... Know what, that, it, it, it's so bad. But you just watch it go off and how bad it is. I mean, when you're a kid, it looked decent. But when you're a, an adult looking at it, you're like... When I was a little kid, I just went, yeah, I can zone out to this. That was about it. Basically, they got some big name stars to play the characters. Yeah, that was bad. And that was about it. <laughs> booty. 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 That was the start of when they just used celebrities and everything. Yeah. The Which kills voice actors. Yeah. 
It's just, they just, nah. Alagard, you should do my Yu-Gi-Oh deck. <laughs> Which one? My main deck. You. What do you mean? Not? Why no? It's not that bullshitty. I do not believe you. <laughs> well, is that because it has nearly every bullshit dragon monster in it? Yes. Is it because it's a? Is it because it's a blue eyes white dragon dick mixed with dragon rollers? Yes. With, with every bullshitty synchro and XZ's monster you can think of. Yes. It's a dragon. Oh come on! It's not that bad. Selling that. She's still sad. <laughs> She's depressed, so she paints. <laughs> okay. So tell me if I'm being a little oversensitive. So... Yes, you're a little. Okay. I was feeling regret <laughs> on how how. Your your uh, character is gonna get introduced, but now I don't feel regret. <laughs> Thank you for making me not regret that. <laughs> Why would you regret it? Mm. Don't know. No, what were you really ever sensitive about? Okay, so remember back in November, I went to see, not in November, in October, I went to see my doctor because I was having issues. And the doctor basically yeah. said, like, it's because you're fat. <laughs> didn't say in those words, but it was like, you just need to lose weight because every, there's fluid buildup in your legs and it's not a, a bunch of other stupid shit. But then, you know, I was kind of upset with that. And in, in the report, she said, Pay, you know, she was tearful when I told her about the, you need to lose. And I'm like, and I'm like, okay, did you have to put that in there? Yes. Really remedy. That's how you know they're a doctor. But you know what I mean, right? Like, it's not, it wasn't clinical. It was more like a personal type dealio. And I'm like, no. I do not like Chris Pratt as Mario. It sounds wrong. He either has to have a thick Brooklyn accent or be a Charles. But there's no in between. A am I wrong, Alicard? Mm -hmm. Eh. Pay on my taxes. And I think I'll just age her up along with him. Um. Luigi embezzled my pay attack. No, I do. No, I did not. I do not embezzle your money, Mario. Why would I do that? 
Miért jön a dík, se fogok azt állni? Cook. Well, um, uh, that's just unfortunate wording. What? The Superman poster I just posted. <laughs> that is just unfortunate wording. <laughs> so it's an a, the movie's being filmed in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said that is some unfortunate wording. CW, you're better than this. I think it was made by the oh, Alabama. Really? Is it a question? Is it made by the Alabama Department? Sweet home and Probably is with that wording. Birthday candles. We're gonna go blow out the candles before you age up because if you age up before, you're gonna be sad. And I can't handle any more sad people here. I'm sad enough. And now he's an adult. Now she can age up too. Serena has aged up. Cool. So so now we need we need to do something because now you're both adults and now you will definitely die before your child it ages up to an adult so that way I don't have to deal with you fucks. We're we're moving along. We're 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 mass producing aging here. <laughs> Time to try for a baby. Isn't that romantic? Oh, cool. So he's like, try for a baby. Maybe not. Let's let's just talk about sports. Did you make him ace? No. <laughs> hey, just like is that how I come? I want a baby. You know, I watch sport. <laughs> I can picture it now. And Alucard's there stealing my shinies. Pregnancy test. Yep, eating for Don't two. Don't tempt me, Ozzy. Breaking of shinies. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, I caught a shiny Eevee yesterday. You son of a bitch! I've been looking forever for shiny Eevees. <laughs> and the motherfucker just catches one. Eh, shinies like me. I literally have the shiny shard. I completed the fucking Pokedex. And I still have shiny what shit. now? Didn't watch how you get a shiny charm. Yeah, you need to complete what? the Pokedex. 
<laughs> no, imagine me using a shiny charm. You already have one. It's up your ass as the size of Texas. No. Yeah. Well, what if I had a shiny one as charm in the game as well? Would they cancel out? No. Uh, <laughs> they never did before. I feel like it should cancel out. No, in Gen 4, in Gen 5, when I had the bloody things, it, it would just make shinies even more common. Evening for two, she had a baby, she's so happy. She was like, I'm gonna be mother. <laughs> And let's have her paint because she needs to, uh, Well, why does everyone get so angry at my shiny look? Because it's I bullshit. I don't even play Pokemon that much. Oh. oh, and she's flirty, so let's make a flirty painting. Is it just nudes? Buster. And now we're going to do an abstract painting. I like abstract. I wonder if I can play it as a shiny living dex of every Pokemon that could be shiny. Huh. Without shiny honey. I just beat the game. You just beat the game? I just beat the game. Awesome. And, and we know that's his cousin. That's uh, why I was saying that's unfortunate wording. <laughs> <laughs> but that's his cousin. <laughs> And heads why unfortunate wording on CW's part. Sweet. It's an Alabama based movie. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> so the party's coming together, and I kind of have the first session mapped out, so. Yay! <laughs> the only reason that I deleted and remade the post about my character is Hasayo insisted that we have a picture go along with our character so I'm like you know what fine fuck it I don't care if you did or didn't but okay <laughs> he's like he was like why am I the only one who posted a picture because you're special <laughs> because my, picture you're be a, art. my picture will be a picture of a middle finger going why are you asking for a picture 
But no, I did kind of want to put together a thing, uh, uh, put together what Zane looked like anyhow, so. Oh, so the name is so edgelordy. Hmm? The name of your character is an edgelord name. It works. I, I quite literally... It's a placeholder until I can come up with something better because it was quite literally a mashup between a human name and a dragon name. It's just it sounded it sounded like an it's just so Ed's Lordy. Hey, I know, but Hey, listen to Captain Edgelord edgiest of Edgelords I O. <laughs> well, yeah, the of it. I also used your idea for to use Hero Forge for it. No, the edgiest of edge lords is Edge Maverick. Again, it was just again, it's a placeholder until I can think of something better. By the way, Paige, the best time for me to play would be the third of uh, the third Sunday of January. Okay. Give me an ETA because my hours change week to week. I know. But tentatively, that is when we're gonna start. It's the third Sunday in January, so. I did a good thing by giving my ass a month to prepare instead of going, yeah, no, we're going to do it this week. And because why not? <laughs> well, see, so I still recommend season. page page. I still recommend making the third Sunday of January a session zero rather than the first session. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Okay. We want to take this slow because you'll know a DMing. Yeah, I know. See, so did, and the way, and the reason I recommend that is that lets you give the your player characters the relevant info they need before the game starts. Okay. It lets I'm those. I'm trying to figure out my class. Mm, it lets those who are still working on character sheets get the help they need for character sheets. That way we're not spending an hour on the first session creating, uh, helping someone create a character. Yeah. And by the time we're done with the session zero, when we go to play the, within the next two weeks for the first session, we are all on the same page. You see what I mean? Yeah, I see. I recommend do I recommend doing a session zero, not the first session. Okay, then it'll be session zero on the third then, for the third Sunday in January, and then we'll. Page wants to murder me because they found a shiny Eevee with no effort. I'm still looking, <laughs> and I hate how rare Eevee is in this game. Because it's not rare, it just doesn't pop up like it has normally where there's like a bunch of little ones that you can just be like, and that's an Eevee, and that's an Eevee, and that's an Eevee, and I will take this Eevee. Um, there's like one sometimes, and I'm like, I, I can't eat the, 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 the normal sandwich. It, it the normal shiny sandwich enough to make this work. Um, so I'm having to do the Masuda method with the eggs and the, uh, that, that shifted. Why did that shift? How much effort? Okay. Why did that shift? That is dumb. <laughs> So what, so you finished the game? Yeah, I'm now talking to the professor in the after game stuff. There's a couple of things. Did you do all the star fall stuff too? Mm hmm Cool. Yeah, I did all the star fall stuff. I did the star fall stuff, I did the, uh, champion badge stuff, I did the, uh, titans. And then I just I finished the- I get new joy cons. And then I just finished the uh, Paldea Crater, and li quite literally, before I jump back and call, finished the fight with Maridon. 
And now you can go back and actually get right on. I can go back and get all of the fucking Titan Pokemon too. I could have been doing that, but I just didn't. Yeah, it's fine. It's just like, yeah, no worries. <clears throat> My brother's annoyed at how many shinies are caught and they got 10 hours to play. <laughs> oh, he's been playing for about 200 hours and he has one. Yeah, I just ran. The only shiny I have is the Pony. The, the fuck? What was that? Okay, People... that scared the fuck out of me. Why does everyone I know want to kill me for having sh so. It's not, so that, I thought I... it's not that you, you get shinies. It's the fact that every day I hear... So I was playing Pokemon. Well, that's what I... I meant to, how else am I meant to tell you about my day? We get it. You have a shiny charm the size of Alaska lodged in your rectum somewhere. I don't know how you pass no, anything no, past no, it. No, no, no. No, not Alaska. That's too small. No, Alaska's bigger. How is Alaska bigger than Texas? Alaska's bigger than Texas. And both if you're states are okay. okay, okay, okay. Let's get this straight. If we're talking population size, Texas is bigger. If we're talking square mileage, Alaska's bigger. If we're yeah. wanting, the, if we're wanting. To actually measure the size of fucking Billy Shiny Charm that's lodged up his ass, it's the size of fucking Russia. Ah. Okay, now that one's fair. Your states are so small. That's all you got out it, of that. Um, Billy, your whole country could fit in Texas. No, it can't. Australia is the size of the sa is the same size as America. Your whole country could fit in fucking Texas. Oh, good. <laughs> Your state probably could fit in Texas. You, you think that no? Anyway, no. It, it's it, yes. You have a shiny term the size of Russia lodged up your ass. And I don't know how you pass anything past it, because it's there. <laughs> Andrew, did you want to forget how big Australia is? Uh, yes, <laughs> honestly. I'm just tired. I just got off work, Billy. Well, my state, which is one of the smallest states, is bigger than Texas. Our biggest state is bigger than Alaska, Texas, and California all put together. Anyway, I have a pregnant sim, so she needs food. Fucking open the... Th there you go, bitch. Yeah, the <laughs> WA is stupidly big for a state. Mm. I was going to be a fucking toddler and be like, you're stupidly... And I was like, that's a compliment. <laughs> Only two of our states are smaller than Texas. And it's still bigger than the majority of your other states. I don't know what to do now. Uh... What, Wheel. my death? Man, I don't care about your death. Wheel. Yeah. Then you'll never have to hear me talk about my shinies again. See, personally, I don't give a rat's fuck about your shinies either. So, you talked to the director and all that? Did, were you, yep. Were you tossed with do, fighting the jokes Going... again? Yep. Then that. Because <laughs> then that and allows you to... Way you're getting a level, a level six uh, and it. And any level seven uh, raids after. I'm uh, pretty sure they've scaled up to uh, level now too, huh? Yeah, but does all... it matter what? Does it matter which one I do first, or can I do them in any order this time? You can do them in any, you order, can do them in any order this time. And their level is level like the highest Pokemon level they have is 66. So. Oh, 
So if if I was to say start with the bug gym, which I'm going to, Cerule Edge is going to sweep through it. Pretty much. <laughs> it's pretty much a sweep at that point. You're just like, freaking Gita is just like, go do this. <sighs> okay. I still don't get why Americans think Texas is so big. Smaller than New Zealand. No, it's not. I'm talking about New Zealand's entire surrounding area. Because they own a lot of islands. Yeah, they own a lot of islands, but the main, but New Zealand's mainland, it is not bigger. If we're counting all of its itty bitty islands, sure, fine, whatever, I guess. Because New Zealand's island, man, last all the little islands around it used to be just one giant island. Yeah, yeah but it's not anymore. And when we and when most people think of New Zealand, we just count the, uh, the mainland. The main strip of land. Um, yeah. the New Zealand islands itself are about the size of Arizona. Yeah. And Arizona's tiny. Arizona's annoying. <laughs> Although, by the way, if I drive 30 minutes south, I'll get to Arizona, and alcohol is very much legal to, to yeah. <laughs> I'm still laughing if you fear the two biggest states in America together. It doesn't equal Australia's biggest state. WA is weird. Okay, can we see us the dick measuring contest with, our, with the states, please? No, that WA is just a weird state because it has fuck all people, we but it's just... It. A... We get it. You're huge. Uh, <laughs> no, the weird thing with Australia, WA is it's founded by people who wanted to be away from the rest of Australia. <laughs> my, my ass is gonna get in trouble for this. Hmm. Hey, am I wrong? You like their energy. Yes, I did like WA's energy. I'd like to build a wall. Around everyone and leave, make everyone get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, they built a wall across the entire state border in six months. To keep COVID out. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what they said. We know it's really just to keep everyone else out. Again, my energy. Oh. I have a reason to block everyone out? You're forgetting how big Antarctica is. Well, yeah, Antarctica is like a big thing of like ice and some land. You mean some land? It's it, not on the fan on. Can do. Is it hot as balls? He is. <laughs> it's cold as ice. Also, I, I keep forgetting Australia owns half of Antarctica. Of course, Some... Australia or owns ice land. <laughs> oh, you own half of Antarctica. You put a flag there and said no one ch challenged our claim. <laughs> and we blew up anyone who came near it. This land is my we, land. You cannot. Take we my claimed land. all the parts that have oil. <laughs> of course you did. America not happy about it. <laughs> but yeah, as soon as you do that, and then you will do like the the a tournament thing, um, and and then it'll be like, hey, there is. <laughs> Powerful thing. Go check it out. M mention mentioning oil near a, the U.S. government's like mentioning crack near a crackhead. It makes cars go. It makes it makes the government all twitchy. <laughs> oil. We have oil. Just we don't want to use our own. And you prefer to buy it all off the Saudis. 
Anyway. Damn Saudis. Anyway, I am I streaming The Sims. So how much woohoo has happened? Enough to make a baby. <laughs> That's good. Apparently they they don't have this thing called fertility struggles. I hope they don't end up implementing that. Oh yeah, there's a chance your sim could just be infertile. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> not 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 the fantasy life I wanna play. Where you we... like Sims. Yes. Play my Sims. I missed my Sims. It was fun. Oh. I need to bring that back. Sure. They're not going to. Person not a TA. I I swear reboots and like remakes are very popular at this time it, it would make a ton of money yeah yeah but it's ea yes dumb <laughs> everyone knows this so what's everyone doing I, I'm... <laughs> improving this pokemon model playing pokemon Pokemans. Yep. Okay, so Do 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 More donkey Kong. Oh, and he won a, a starlight accolade for the best world with year's best song. Yay! Ooh. Let's just do all the. Let's just quickly go through all the gyms that my Cerule Edge can sweep. So. Oh, the, First poor defenseless gyms. So, uh, I love Larry, but I like, like, my, like, he's great, but I like drawn to the ice. Banana Slamo! I'm like, not gonna lie, Larry gave me some trouble in the Elite Four. Boy, need some hugs. <laughs> Because most people be... went in thinking he was still normal type, so they put in fighting, only to be completely decimated when he turns out to be flying. Oh yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't go in with a fighting type. I just wasn't prepared for Larry. Part of this. Okay, cool. <laughs> also, <laughs> and time to go. Drink a shell bow. Oh, Bonnie. Oh, uh, Sue Alfonso. Nipplem. Isn't it rude to accept your freaking award at like any sort of like actor or 
you know, like the CMAs or like the music awards. It's like you accept your award, you say bye, and like fucking leave. <laughs> I got my reward, award. I'm done. Bye. Thank God I don't have to go through the fucking gym uh, test things. Yeah. I can, just walk, I can just walk up and talk to these guys. It's like, yeah, no, I, I really love rolling a uh, olive around. It's, it's definitely what of course I you definitely did. want. It's in your name. You know, just, just because my last name stands for something that has to do with olives does, does, does not mean... I like rolling around an olive in a video game. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh. I don't know. The olive challenge wasn't even the worst one. No, that it was kind of easy. It was just like, why? Freaking Iano's on goddamn crack. I really liked the uh, Electric Gyms challenge, though the Mister Walkabout. I got you get to play Where's Waldo. Yeah, pretty good. You're so funny. Although I was like, she she had so much energy. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I don't have this much energy. I, I can't. What are you talking about, Paige? I thought she was a spitting image of you. No. <laughs> Chat. Okay. Oh, has it been two hours already? Yeah. So, um, it's been two hours streaming. Two and a half hours. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now. Um, so next time we play. There she No, you are. Huh? <laughs> You're just gonna keep playing? No, I'm 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 stopping. I'm kind of tired. Um, Let's go for ten hours this time. Uh, uh, no. So I'm gonna stop playing. I'll see everyone soon. Bye.